What's going on guys, it's Zaro back with another video on Rainbow Six Siege. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys the best strat for attacking on Garage Wars, also known as G Wars. It is a custom game that I really like to play. It's I play it on house and basically what you do is uh, you can only, when you're attacking, you only can attack from the garage wall and the door right in front of garage. And then on defending, you can only stay in garage and you have to defend. So it's a really fun game that I like to play custom games with like friends or looking for group buzz, just randoms, and I'll teach you guys how to get better and win it. Alright guys, so the number one tip slash strat, whatever you want to call it, is to always have a hard breacher and an anti-breacher. The, the hard breacher I want you guys to always run, if you guys want to win, is Thermite or Ace. They both have great weapons, both their abilities completely destroy the wall, not partially like Habana, and not does not make just little holes for you to get shot at through your feet and shot at through little holes, which is Maverick. Do not play Habana or Maverick in Garage Wars. They are terrible hard breachers and f for this. I don't really consider neither of them hard breachers. More as like hole makers, if that's the word you want to use. Because like Maverick's not really a hard breacher, he kind of just makes holes. I mean, there's stuff you can do with Maverick, but I I don't prefer I prefer to run Habana or Thermite and Ace more. So yeah, that's the main one you guys for your hard breaching. And then for the destroying like the bandits and the mutes and stuff, I think they're called anti breachers. But that what you guys want that or for that is you guys want a Twitch or a Thatcher. If you can, if you're newer to the game, I recommend you definitely running Thatcher, because Thatcher's gun is a lot easier to use. His ability is a lot easier to use, and for Twitch, the F2 has really, really strong recoil. So if you're not that great with controlling recoil, as I said, like if you're a newer player, or even some older player just can't control recoil that much, I recommend you running Thatcher instead of Twitch. And right here, I'm showing you guys how to uh, Thatcher trick. So what you gotta do. Is you throw your first, you throw your Thatcher, your guy puts it on the wall, then you throw your other Thatcher. So if he tries to bandit, cage, or mute trick it, it gets it the a second one too. So as you saw when I pulled my Claymore out, that was me imitating a Thatcher. So right now my team would have gotten the wall, he's playing wall, and I'm can, I can play the doorway. And as you can see right here in this part of the video, you see Kate is right there holding a pixel peak. That is a very common pixel peak that a lot of people are to run in Garage Wars. And as you can see, I pre-fire and like pre uh quick peek it. As you can see right here in the kill cam, let's watch it again. I missed the first shot, then I did it again and domed him in the head. So if one, if people you know are playing that angle, make sure you guys pre-fire quick it really fast. You can also draw it out, make sure if they're there. But do not uh, red ping, use a yellow ping. So you guys can uh, know exactly where they are without them knowing that you know that. So you can quick fire them. Next up, we're going to be using Twitch with the F2. Um, for t A tip for using Twitch F2, if you... Are really good with controlling recoil you keep doing your thing with twitch but if you cannot but you want to use it because twitch is a very good operator for not even just Dream wars but ranked casual all the other game modes too yeah, she's very helpful but a tip is that don't just spray your gun like all the other automatics you need to tap it like go brr, 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 like that it's so much easier to control as you can see right here with my drone I, how I went in, I went around the house to the side. There's a drone hole right here. Never, if you're going Twitch and Garage Wars, never come in from the two doorways because they will shoot your drones easily. For some reason, not a lot of people know about this drone hole because of the rework on this map. Because it originally was not there, but now it's there. So not a lot of people know. As you can see, I go through here, the drone hole right here. Last up, but definitely not least, we have Thermite. Thermite was the first original hard breacher added to Rainbow Six Siege. He is a great hard breacher. I can't just tell you whether to go Thermite or Ace. They're both really good. They both have great weapons. I prefer Ace more because I like his ability more and I love the AK. The AK is the best gun in the game, especially with its sight, the sight they gave it. So I really like Ace more, but Thermite is still definitely great op, especially because Ace for people that are not or getting into the game newer they're not going to have these because Ace costs i think twenty five thousand r6 credits and thermite is a lot cheaper because he's a new basic op so what you want to do is your teammate you know throws the thatcher and places it on there but if they have bandits on there what you can also do is you can place it on or start placing the wall get start getting electric you will get being electrocuted so start placing it on the wall 
and tell your teammate to throw the Thatcher. So as soon as the the bandit goes away, you already have the uh, thermite on there, so you can blow it up and you won't have time. And make sure you guys, when you do blow this wall open, do not just stand in the middle like you saw I was doing, because that Ella could have easily killed me. Do not do that. You want to hold peaks like this around the car because you know they're going to be head glitching around the window or the right side of the car. So make sure you guys are holding angles. Also, watch out for that corner right there because a lot of people like to hide in that corner to the, the right of me behind the long wall. And also, make sure you guys drone out. When you are droning, make sure you guys have claymores or have your teammates watching your back. And make sure, yeah, do not red ping, yellow ping. As you can see right there, I droned him out and yellow pinged him and I knew exactly where he was. So I crawled under... You saw his feet, boom, I tapped him right there. Then look, I can see his feet again, and then boom, pre-fired him. And that's how you, that is the best attacking strats for Garage Wars on house. I So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. My name is Zaro. Make sure you guys check the links out in the description. Add me on Discord. Follow me on Twitch. I stream almost every day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.